happy Sunday and welcome back to our Sunday Bible lesson videos. I am so, so, so happy to have you guys here with me today. We are now in the month of March, you guys, so you know what that means. We get a new story today and a new Bible verse, so we have some really great things to go over. Let's jump in and get started. Are you guys ready? Great! So last week in our Bible story, if you remember, we talked all about how Jesus loves us no matter what. That is a lot of love, you guys. Now, let me ask you, who loves you? Yes, Jesus loves you. Good job. Now, for this week's Bible story, oh, but also, you guys, since we're in March now, I have a new question to ask you guys. I'm going to say, who can love like Jesus? And I want you to say, I can love like Jesus. Can we try that? Who can love like Jesus? Yes, you can love like Jesus. Good job. So this week's Bible story, we are going to be talking about that. We are learning all about how Jesus did something amazing with water. And it wasn't go swimming, you guys. Jesus washed his friend's feet. He did this. And his friends were the 12 disciples, you guys. And he did this to show them how they can love like he can. And now we can love like Jesus too. Who can love like Jesus? Yes, you can. Good job. Now, are you guys ready to learn this month's brand new Bible verse? It is such a great one, you guys, and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, let's learn it together. So you're gonna take your pointer fingers and hook them together like this and say, a friend. Now give yourself a big hug, loves, and now put your arms out and spin in a circle and say, at all times. Open your hands like a book, Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Good job, let's do it two more times, okay? A friend can love at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Good job. Let's do it one more time, okay? A friend can love at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Good job, you guys. You did amazing. I had so much fun hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed this week's Bible story and this month's Bible verse just as much as I do. I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye. It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. I had such a fun day playing with my toys outside, except they got dirty, so I'm washing them. See, I have soap and water, sponge, and a towel. First, I take my sponge, dip it in the water, scrub, scrub, scrub. I love how it makes bubbles. After I wash the toy, I rinse it with clean water. Then I dry it with a towel. I just love fluffy towels. And now my toy is clean and dry. Ooh. Ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Washing toys, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm washing the toys that got dirt on them when we were playing outside. Great job! Ho! Ho! I know something else you can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello! I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Wow! We're celebrating because we can love like Jesus, and I made some special cupcakes. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> they're my confetti creations. They have confetti sprinkles on the top, and there's a surprise, too. When you bite into them, a whole bunch of confetti sprinkles fall out. It's the perfect party cupcake! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> 
what happens when you throw confetti in the air? Where does it go? Does it land in just one spot or does it go everywhere? Yes, it goes everywhere. And Jesus loves people just like that. Jesus' love goes everywhere. In our story today, Jesus shows us how to love like him. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about the one most special, most powerful, most important thing Jesus told us to do. Well, Jesus didn't just tell us what to do. Jesus showed us what to do. One night, Jesus was having dinner with his friends. Then Jesus got up from where he was eating and wrapped a towel around his waist. Jesus poured some water in a bowl. He took the water, knelt down in front of his friends and began washing their feet. Wait, did you hear that? Jesus washed his friends' feet. Their feet probably had a lot of dirt on them from walking around outside. This was a messy job. Jesus is God's son and is so special and important. His friends were surprised that someone so important would do that messy job. But Jesus washed his friend's feet. Then he took the towel that was wrapped around him and dried their feet. When Jesus got to Peter, Peter said, No, Jesus, don't wash my feet. Peter knew Jesus was so special and so important that he thought Jesus should never do a job like washing dirty feet. But Jesus said, if Peter was going to follow him, he would have to let Jesus wash his feet. So then Peter really wanted Jesus to wash his feet because Peter wanted to follow Jesus. After Jesus was done, Jesus told his friends that he washed their feet to show them how to love people the way he loves people. And loving like Jesus is the one most special, most powerful, most important thing Jesus told us to do. So what are some ways we can love like Jesus? There are so many ways! We can clap and cheer for others. We can let someone else go first. We can help someone clean up even if we didn't make the mess. There are so many ways that we can love like Jesus and that is the one most important thing we can do. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus showed us how to love so that we can love like Jesus, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus washed his friend's feet to show them how to love people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know how I can love like Jesus. I can help my sister clean her room. When I love like Jesus, it's like I'm spreading love everywhere. See you next time, bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17.